Something is going to have to be done about the situation. Immigrants continue to trickle into the desert southwest by the hundreds every few days. Many wonder, will they get to stay? Very case specific. Each of them will have to go through an initial credible fear interview to determine whether the fear that they're claiming is even sufficient to establish any kind of an asylum claim. Bianca Santorini is an immigration attorney at American Beginnings in Yuma. She previously worked in Texas exclusively with immigrants from Central America. She says it may take up to three years for some of the immigrants to get a final hearing date. Well, you can imagine what happens in two to three years. People marry, they meet somebody, sometimes they have children, sometimes they graduate high school, and situations just change. Which may soon cost the U.S. more than three billion dollars. Some passionate demonstrators recently said they shouldn't be able to stay. We'll send them aid, but it's too hard on the United States to support all of them. We don't mind them coming, but come the legal way. But as Santorini explains, the U.S. cannot deny these immigrants access, which creates a gray area between legal and illegal immigration. What Obama is doing in his administration is very, very illegal. As the United States, our laws are framed where we cannot return someone to their home country that we know will be persecuted. She says if they establish what the law requires, the U.S. has to allow them to stay in the meantime. If they are granted asylum, they I, I do believe they should be allowed to stay because at that point, they have obviously shown the, the evidence that's required to be able to stay here. But that doesn't mean it's a golden ticket to the free world. Less than 20% of asylum cases are ever granted.